Welcome to The Rundown. I'm TJ Hartnett. June 24th edition of the Futures League Rundown. There were some Friday night fireworks, literally and metaphorically, around the Futures League. Let's check it out to see what happened. The Brockton Rocks put out the fire on the Red Hot Seacoast Mavericks, defeating them at home by a score of 7-3. to three. James Mews out of Memphis threw a gem, going 7 strong, allowing only 2 hits, no runs, while striking out 9 in the win. Ben Porter out of Columbia University went 3 for 4 with 4 RBI, including this 2 RBI single back in the 4th inning. Porter also had 2 stolen bases in the game. The Pittsfield Suns are officially tied for 2nd place in the West after their victory over division rival Bristol 5-1. Jamin McCann out of East Tennessee State went 7 innings, surrendering 1 run on 4 hits while striking out 7. The University of Maine Black Bear Colin Ridley had two hits, one RBI, and a pair of runs to contribute to the Suns' offensive show. The Worcester Bravehearts went into extras for the second night in a row, this time defeating the Wachusett Dirt Dogs on the road 8-7. Matt Rothenberg out of Harvard had the game-winning RBI single in the 12th inning to put Worcester ahead. Joe Mercandante out of LIU Brooklyn went 4-5 for five with a double and his first home run of the season. Mike Kagashal from Assumption had a hit as well, increasing his hitting streak to 12 games, a new Worcester Bravehearts record. The Nashville Silver Knights took care of business on the road in Torrington, defeating the Titans 8-2. Harry Roberson from Amherst went 2-for-3 with two runs scored and two walks as well. Dante Baldelli, the Boston College Eagle, went 3-for-4, racking up two RBI and two runs scored, sparking the Nashua offense. The North Shore Navigators shut out the Martha's Vineyard Sharks 8-0 on Friday night behind a strong pitching performance from UMass Boston's Bobby Tramondozzi, who went five innings, allowing zero runs on five hits with two Ks. Joey Pena out of St. Thomas Aquinas had one RBI on four hits and three runs scored, including two doubles. Now it's time for the Futures League Pitcher and Player of the Night, brought to you by On Deck Sports, the official sponsor of the Futures League. The On Deck Sports Pitcher of the Night goes to Brockton's James Muse out of Memphis, who went seven innings, allowing zero runs on two hits with nine Ks in the win over Seacoast. The On Deck Sports Player of the Night goes to Brockton's Ben Porter out of Columbia University, who went three for four with four RBIs and two stolen bases in the Rocks' win against the Mavericks. Here's a look at your West Division standings. Worcester gets another extra inning win to improve to 13-5. Bristol drops another to 10-9. Pittsfield tied with the Blues after their W. They're at 10-9 as well. Wachusett is on a four-game losing streak at 7-13, and, and Torrington falls a game back at 7-12. In the East, the Seacoast Mavericks drop a game to fall to 13-7. Nashua improves to 13-6. Brockton gets over the hump to improve to 11 and 10. Martha's Vineyard drops their first and three to seven and 13, and North Shore get back on the winning track at seven and 13 as well. On deck for the Futures League on Saturday, the Navigators host the Mavericks out in Lynn at 6 p.m. for their Christmas in June game, in which the Navs will be wearing these special Christmas jerseys and having them auctioned off for charity after the game. Definitely go check that out. The Blues travel out to Wachusett to play the Dirt Dogs at 6.35. The Rocks will take the ferry to Martha's Vineyard to battle the Sharks at 7. The Silver Knights will host the Pittsfield Suns at 7 p.m. as well. And the Bravehearts are back in Worcester to face the Torrington Titans at 7 p.m. Thank you for joining us here on the Futures League Rundown. I'm TJ Hardnett. We'll see you on Saturday. Mm -hmm.